Hey, we're going to take the next step in our writing process. We're actually working on our paper. What are we an expert in? Whatever that is that you actually chose and that you have been working on. So that's what we're going to continue doing today. Uh, just as a quick reminder of where we have been, uh, we have uh, started off the one of the first days of school. It might have been the first day of school where I had you write to me about something that you knew about. Uh, that you were an expert in, that you could inform us or teach us about what you knew. And after that, we started working on some different hooks for that paper. A hook is a, it's another word for an introduction, but it's something to grab your readers where after that first introduction, you have them hooked where they want to read more. So we worked on six different types of hooks and you have those in your Google document underneath your free write of what you did the first day of school, okay? Then last week, last Friday, I had you create a four square on your writing topic, all right? We're kind of working backwards, but I, there's, there's a, a method to my madness. So we're gonna continue going this way. So last Friday, you made a four square and if you remember, uh, this was my four square. Again, I'm a, a gourmet hot dog griller and I had my funny hook that I was going to use. Uh, and then I, I created my four square here where I set up the grill, the different kinds of hot dogs, how to properly cook a hot dog, and then what you need to serve them with. So your assignment today is going to be taking this four square and converting it into a writing paper following the four square. So again, I forgot to write this on here, but I wanted to start out using my funny hook and you all should recall my funny hook. And so over here on the right side, this is my paper that I have created off of my four square. And as we go through this, you'll be able to see how I did it. So I started off with my funny hook. As I approached the grill at the birthday party, I caught a strong odor of lighter fluid in my nostrils from the grill. As a professional, I don't regularly use lighter fluid, so the smell caught me off guard. As I struck the match to reveal the ferocious fire lighting from the tiny match, I mistakenly leaned my head over the grill as I was dropping the match onto the coals. Boom! My ears were ringing, my eyebrows and the tips of my bangs were singed, and my nostrils were now filled with the smell of burnt hair. My buddy had mistakenly put an entire bottle of lighter fluid onto the coals unknowingly to me. That's my funny hook, okay? That's my first paragraph, my funny hook, I'm finished. So now what I did here, right here, right after me, I hit enter and then I hit tab to indent my first, my next paragraph, which is my first four square. So my first four square, I need to talk about setting up the grill, charcoal, lighting it, waiting it for it to heat up. That is what I'm talking about in this next paragraph. So let's see what I did. I take my title as gourmet hot dog chef with pride. There are several steps in the hot dog preparation that must be followed in order to be considered a, gour considered a gourmet meal. The first step is setting up the grill for proper cooking. See how I did that? Setting up the grill right here on my four square. I start by heating up my charcoal in a chimney starter. A, I chimney starter, I'll have to pick that, it should be a chimney starter, is an oval looking cylinder that holds charcoal. You then put two sheets of newspaper into the very bottom of the chimney starter and light the paper on fire using a match or lighter. The chimney starter will then get the charcoal burning evenly and to perfection. This takes approximately 30 minutes to heat up and when the coals have gray ash on them, you can pour the cylinder into your grill. After the coal, I'm sorry, after the coal being in your grill for five minutes, the grates will be hot enough for your hot dogs. So I, I covered the charcoal, lighting it, and waiting for it to heat up. Covered it all. That was my four square. It told me what to do. I did it. So I'm finished with that paragraph. So now I'm going to go to my next four square. It's going to be a new paragraph. And so right here, after hot enough for your hot dogs, I hit enter. I hit tab to indent and I'm going to do my next paragraph. My next paragraph is my second box here. It's the kinds of hot dogs and I had footlongs, cheese filled, regular beef. So let's see what I wrote. In order to provide the perfect hot dog for your patron, you have to be willing to offer a variety of hot dog flavors for their choosing. 
Most people prefer foot-long hot dogs, cheese-filled hot dogs, or just regular beef hot dogs. No matter their preference, it is, good, it is a good idea to make sure you cook them something that they enjoy eating. If not, they may tarnish your gourmet grilling status, status as a critic. So did I cover those three things? Yeah. Did I add a couple of things just to make the paragraph make sense? Sure, I did. But I followed that four square. So this box, box two, is now complete. So now I'm going to go to the third box, and that's when I talk about cooking. I put it on the grill. I roll constantly so it doesn't burn and take off the grill when fully cooked. So right after uh, my hot dog one, I hit enter, came down to the next paragraph, and I'm going to read it. Once you have selected your hot dogs for this cook, it is time to put them on the grill. There is a science to grilling the perfect hot dog. You must constantly turn the hot dogs over the fire so they do not get burned. Only grill the number of hot dogs that you can properly turn without burning. If you put too many on the grill at one time, you are asking for trouble. As soon as the hot dog is cooked to the perfect color all the way around the dog, remove it and remove it from the grill immediately. You do not want to overcook it. Let's see. Did I hit it? Did I put them on the grill? Yes. Did I roll consistently so it didn't burn? Yes. Did I take it off the grill when fully cooked? Yes. Did I add in a part? Yeah, I added up and that said too many hot dogs. It might be a problem, but that's okay. I thought it made the paragraph make better sense when I was writing it. And so it's okay to add a few little details in that's not on your four square, as long as it still um, goes with the cook, which it did, the cook of the hot dog. So finally, I'm on my last four square. And so I entered down, entered over, and I put, oh, and what I was talking about was serving uh, bread, condiments, and chili dog sauce. That's what I had on my four square. So let's see what I did. The last step is providing your hot dog patron with condiments. Every hot dog person knows what they want to put on their hot dog. You must provide fresh buns, ketchup, mustard, onions, chili dog sauce, relish, cheese, and anything else you know that they would want. The goal is for them to enjoy their hot dog. So it is crucial that you come to an understanding of what it is that they enjoy on their dog. Did I cover everything? Yep. Did I add a few more condiments? Yep, that's fine. Uh, but I followed my four square. Now, the only thing we're not doing today, we are not doing our conclusion, which will be down here at the bottom. I haven't taught you conclusions. We're going to do that next week. So next week, after I teach you conclusions, you'll add your conclusion to this paper, but it'll be a couple of sentences. That's it. So your paper will be almost finished today as a new rough draft. Now, we still have a couple more things to do to it, but what I'd like you to do today is actually to type your paper, go down to the very bottom after all of your hooks in your Google Doc. And I want you to retype your paper, but I want you to use your Foursquare. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be on the Google Meet today. But otherwise, you should be able to follow your Foursquare and do it. Now, if you didn't do your Foursquare, some of you didn't do your Foursquare. Now, you're going to have to make your Foursquare and then type it. Okay? You're behind. So, you're going to have to catch up. Get it? Ketchup, condiment? Yeah, I'll leave you with that.